Hi everybody, this is Mel from Everything Marmy. So I'm going to begin a brief little um, new office tour. And I've decorated early this year. I don't normally, but I did this year because I wanted to start something and I thought I'd do it early. So here we go. This is the, um, it's made with gloss balls with just um, some tinsel, which is like falling everywhere. So we'll just open up and um, I'm not going to go over this whole room in completion. Um, that there, I made two of those. One I gave to a family member last year and um, I basically cut out the same pieces and just use them. And um, on mine, I put these little things here because on the first, I just put gratitudes on them as opposed to pull something out. I put something in, that's what I do. And that is my what is life. Um, it's, it's wooden. Actually, I found this at a thrift store too. And you guys, please apologize for the dirt. So then this piece here is my oldest piece. It actually was given twice away and it's made its way back to me. Um, and it's real wood. It was purchased at a secondhand store um, before I moved out to my first apartment. So it's over for me. I've had it more than 30, oh, let's just say close to, you know, 35 years or so. <laughs> my goodness, I'm aging myself. Um, so yeah, um, over on this area over here is more my relaxing area where I'll sit, I'll play some guitar, um, that's my view at the window, um, and then I haven't put anything on these shelves yet here, um, and then that's the closet where I have a lot of my, uh, gifting program items in there, and then, um, that's my Royal typewriter. Um, this here is plastic canvas. I've done a few of these before. This one just holds some tissues. I love birds. I've loved nature. I love those colors. So of course I use that. Um, every once in a while, you guys are going to see some stuff. Carla made me this beautiful piece here. And I got this from Angela Price some time ago. Um, I will trade things up and shoot things up as I bring up more stuff. Um, so the hummingbird. And then that is just a um, shower curtain, folks. And I had it on my shower curtain and I didn't like it. So, uh, and there's the infamous red truck. Anybody who remembers last year, it started my journey this year. January 4th last year, I got hit twice by a red truck. Um, so it sort of started me on this journey. So, um, this basically is how I've got it set up here. I will go through some of these stuff. I'm, I'm just reusing boxes that things came in. Here's my little Charlie up there. And, um, yeah. So basically I'm just giving you a quick little tour. Of this room. It's really as simple as she gets, folks. I haven't, I just hauled this in from outside, and as you can see here, I'm just noticing there's some hardware on it because across the street is a, um, a staging company and they often put out free furniture. Now that is a coffee table, and I got it for free, and it's heavy, and I don't know how I got it up here. But I did, and it's uh, I'm using it this way so I can put some bins on it. And then I just put my little tree together. Um, that village there, that wasn't painted by me. It was painted by my uncle. And um, that was the village in Italy that um, we come from. So, um, yeah, it's a beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful place. So I thought I'd put that up. And um, just some minor easy crafts. This was a, 
a chip container. I just, you know, did a hole and of course, poor guy lost an eye, so I just used a sticker. Um, I do live in Canada, so I have the Canadian Dictionary. That's why I use a lot of U's in my words. And um, that is it. So I'm just going to walk around and then I'm going to finish off with the rest of the video in just a second. Okay, folks, I will see you soon. Hi, everybody. It's Mel. I'm back. I hope you enjoyed the new kind of office tour. So this is going to be sort of a quicker kind of project share and also a, um, a share as a, a present that I got from my beautiful next door neighbor who, oh, you know, blessings are blessings. And oh my goodness, I couldn't have asked for a better neighbor. What I love about my neighbor is that we're family as I feel about many, 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 many of you. And family, especially this time of year, don't always get along. And that's okay. I think that growth comes when we understand that not everybody has to agree, uh, not everybody has to get along, and yet we can still maintain our dignity and respect and care. And so I welcome you. I welcome you if we've had disagreements in the past. I welcome you if, you know, if, if you feel like maybe you think that, you know, uh, there are issues. There are no issues. I harbor no issues. Um, I need I need you all to know that. My heart, I don't hold on to things. So I am coming on now to uh, do a quick project share as well as this gift share. So I've done these recently. Um, they're very easy to do, and um, they were made just, uh, they're stars, do you see them? They're stars, they're kind of like starfish, but they're, they're stars, and basically I've just taken three pieces of uh, ultra-thin, like, fishing wire and, and beaded them, and I got the beads secondhand out of a bag, and I think I had enough beads to do six. I went to do the seventh, and I only had enough for two. Um, these are very easy to do. You just... Take the center and you loop and uh, I have to learn to start doing them on film but what happens is is I'll be listening to something at night either an edit of something I've written or like an audiobook and I'm busy doing something with my hands it helps keep my mind a little bit more sharp and these as you can tell kind of got a little wonky so the wire is not the thickest it's just the thin stuff that I had on hand I didn't want to run out and get any more so um, easy to make and then I just took a little bit of like pipe cleaner to twist the ends off and once I did that I realized why aren't I using pipe cleaner I did those so then with pipe cleaner because I bought one of those kits from the Dollarama for like four dollars um, I made this. This is a stack of beads. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads. It's a little candle with just a piece of thread. And I've only just glued it to that one piece of pipe cleaner. Super easy to make. And then I made this one here, same sort of deal. Um, these are the old fashioned beads. I find, I found a lot of beads from uh, thrifting in the past. I haven't done, um, with the exception of one place, which was a Valley Village Hall, where I had to go get a coat because I donated my long coat and it's been really, really cold, so I had to go get a coat. Um, yeah, I, so th that's pretty much it. I got a couple of books. I was in and out very quickly, actually. And then I, I did this one here, and this one I quite liked. It turned out really well. And so I'm going to christen the tree with that decoration. And every day, I will put one decoration on this tree. So, my neighbor, my beautiful neighbor, Jamie, um, I was speechless when she presented this to me. She, um, I'll hold it up. It is a beautiful, you know, I could cry. I could cry. Um, She knows I do a lot of writing outside and she got me this glass writing pen. That's a resting base. 
And do you recall my last video? I said that this ink lately, that's the color I've been really into. And she had ordered this even before I made that video. Um, I, I will show you how this pen works another time. I don't want this video to be too long, but my, my beautiful neighbor, Jamie. And that's the thing, folks. You know, Jamie and I had had our, our one, I think we had one argument. I've been here five, six years, six years almost. And, um, or is it coming up to seven now? Maybe seven. And we've only had really one argument. And you know what? Uh, that's because, you know, Sure, I have fire in me once in a while, but really, I'm I'm an emotional person. I think, I think being emotional. I think you know, to say otherwise. I know for me, being emotional, that's just part of who I am, and I don't want anybody to have the the illusion that I I don't feel my life. I absolutely do, and I don't want to stage my life either. That's why I I show you bits and pieces of who I am, and and that's just how it is. Okay, folks. Here's the exciting thing. We are beginning something. Now here's how it works. I normally never decorate this early. Usually it's the first or second of December. Okay, and then I keep it up to January 7th because my nanny, that was her birthday. And so usually within the first week, I never had a set date, usually within the first week. Um, so last year this time, I had I had this channel and then, you know, uh, life happened and I shut the channel down um, Since then YouTube has made some changes. So uh, th The contests that I do are all my own doing and they have no association with YouTube whatsoever. However now um, There is a clause that says that if it's for adults only they're looking into, they haven't done it yet, but they're looking into it becoming where you are a part of that person's um, um, subscriber list. Um, I guess something happened, some sort of fraud happened. I'm not quite sure what went down. Um, I could be misinformed, but that was the latest information I got. It changes all the time, so folks, if I'm incorrect, I apologize. I had purchased these last year to help stage a home. I don't know if any of you guys remember, um, but I did. And once it was staged, I um, basically had them uh, dry cleaned um, with the plastic put over the tags again. They were purchased at Winners and have not ever been used or touched except for decoration. And when I had them dry cleaned, they were simply like flattened and dry cleaned that way. If any of you work in a dry cleaner, she'll know what I'm talking about. My nanny used to. And what they do is they just simply uh, spray to disinfect and then um, they return it in plastic. I've removed the plastic and here they are. They are the truck stockings. Anywhere in the world, folks, if you're a subscriber, I will send them to you. Um, but you must be a subscriber and I will check and um there before you go ahead and, and you know answer it's not going to be a draw here's how it's going to work the very first person who's a subscriber that answers this question in my commentary box will get these and i don't care where you are in the world it might read you a little later um i can't guarantee i will say something about the mail though very quickly the mail here i live on vancouver island in Victoria. We are under the 49th parallel. We are the lowest and closest to Seattle, Washington. We are the we are on a, a uh, the Pacific military base in Esquimalt. And that is why we've been having difficulties getting mail off, off of this island. Now I cannot I cannot tell you guys anymore. I wish I could. Um, but I understand I have a window right now to get stuff off this island and I want to do that. I've sent and had things returned so many times I can't even tell you folks. And it started last Christmas, if you all remember, with my contest and all those prizes. I actually got a call saying, did I want them back? And I got them back, folks. So I have all of that stuff that will be giveaways. 
so that's exciting news and then this will launch into my other exciting news so it's just going to be glory after glory after glory and i want you all to participate in it uh i wake and i choose joy i've been saying this i wake and i choose joy and i hope to share it and it doesn't matter to me if we've had issues in the past it doesn't matter to me if you agree with who I am or not who I am it doesn't matter like I'm I, I respect who you are uh, for every single person in the world whether I've agreed with them or not has taught me something and that something has helped me grow and it's a blessing and that's how I choose to look at it so folks this is the 29th of November it'll be my first day of Christmas it's a little bit early but you guys just had, in the stage, you guys had your Black Friday. I don't know why you call it Black. Why is it Black Friday? Is that because, I don't know. Why is it Black Friday? I don't understand why the Black Friday. And then Canada started doing it about five years ago. I don't know. I haven't done any shopping this year. So uh, these are all from what I already had. And so the first person to write in the commentary box, what brings you joy? will win these and I will send them out tomorrow. Now here's how it's going to work. I will cut off the contest. I'm gonna be a little odd here because I am odd. Anybody who knows me, I am odd. Another saying for you all, add it to the list, right? So I'm going to cut the contest off at 6.18 Pacific Standard Time tomorrow morning and I will do a video, a quick video at 9, between 9, and 9 20 a.m. tomorrow morning and uh, hope to get it off the mail um, by Tuesday so I hope all of you are having a super phenomenal awesome day and I'm doing this today because it's two days after your Black Friday you're probably all exhausted and you're probably going oh I never got any of the red truck stuff well these are from last year folks they're pristine they're clean they're new and they can be yours. So I love you all. And if nobody told you, remember you're perfectly imperfect and that's okay. It's okay to feel your life. It's okay to be overwhelmed. It's okay to have emotions. If it wasn't okay, we wouldn't be here. And it's okay just to say I'm not okay. It's okay to, to know that somebody out there loves you laws and all and I do it's just I'm a real introvert and I love nature and quiet and I'm a writer and I'm not a real social kind of person which people have found odd a little bit more of a deeper thinker and I'm always busy doing something but I do have a message and it's this that life can be beautiful if you let it if you think it if you believe it you want it no matter what what hardships you're going through I think if we all threw all our problems in the middle of the room we'd quickly see not only that we all have problems but we'd quickly grab ours back up because we never know what somebody else is going through and so I do advocate kindness and I try to bring joy and that's my message I always have to have one and this. I love you. Have a great night, folks. Good luck. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.